Okay, past lives and resolving guilt. So I'm a hypnotherapist. I was a stop smoking hypnotherapist and I did other hypnotherapy, but I didn't do um, past life regression. But it's kind of obvious what part, I mean, past, I'm quite familiar. I actually got the scripts for past life regression. I was quite interested. Um, so you um, you can even you can even make a recording. I'm a hypnotherapist. I can tell you how to do self-hypnosis. Uh, you just get an induction script off the internet, like uh, I'm walking down some 10 steps and going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Uh, step 10, going down deeper. Step 9, deeper into relaxation. All my muscles getting lazy, loose and limp. You do that all the way. Talk slowly like a hypnotherapist and then get to step 1, where you're in profound state of deep, deepness. Then you see a door, you open the door and, and the door will lead Um to the to the lifetime uh, that will resolve your fear of, of of water or your phobia of snakes whatever it is so uh, and then you open the door and then suddenly you get a rerun of a life um, and if someone's tossing you off a ship and you're drowning and then you're gone oh all right well that that's very helpful to know why I don't like water or you go back to a life if it's a uh, fear of spiders you know, you go back to a lifetime where you're in the Amazon and this spider <laughs> jumps on your nose and then you die horrifically. You go, well, that, that probably makes sense why I don't like spiders. So you can, you have a rerun. Or um, let's say um, people are always um, attacking me. Then you go back to a lifetime, you have a rerun of a life where you're attacking everyone all the time. You're just a very angry person attacking everyone. Now you realize why, why everyone's attacking you in this lifetime see so yeah so it is very very helpful <clears throat> and and you um i mean i've listened to hawkins lectures so many times i know that whatever happens to me i've done it to others in this lifetime or others so it's really helpful i don't have to get a past life thing i do i have had um, access to my past lives through um kinesiologic research um which is really helpful uh but you don't need it because it's it's obvious if people keep taking the mickey out of me, I mean, I don't need to go into a past life to know I took the mickey out of others. Isn't it? If, if, if uh, nearly everyone was a thief, I think Hawkins was a thief. Uh, I was a thief. Of course I was a thief in a past lifetime. We've all had past, many past lifetimes. So people take things, steal things from me unfairly. It's not unfairly. Of course I've done that to others, taken their stuff uh, when, when it belonged to others behind their backs. Of course I have. So knowing that it's you know my ego can't go into such a big tantrum. It can go into a tantrum, but less of a tantrum. Like well, like you've probably done it to others, so just um, just get over it and move on. Um, you know, I mean, you probably this is the same guy you took his stuff from in the past life, so he's just coming back and just grabbing and taking your stuff in this lifetime. So just let it go. Um, oh, I can probably share something on that. Yeah, I've got a. I've got a restaurant tenant who's, you know, he's uh, uh, giving me a bit of a headache. But, you know, I'm pretty confident I did it to him. Uh, and um, I actually have had confirmation that I've done it to him in the past lifetime. And it was in a sense, not exact confirmation, but I know what I did in the past lifetime. And that would have caused a lot of people a lot of suffering. Um, so, yeah, you know, so it makes it easier. You know, I'm not getting what's happening to me is just payback for what I've done to others. Um, and so that doesn't make it easier. It's not unfair. It's not random. And, uh, you know, maybe I do deserve it. And maybe he's just getting even. And that's, or, and, you know, uh, I like what, you know, Hawkins has a great way of making it funny. He says, like, your wife, um, your wife leaves you for another man and takes the Mercedes with 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 her, and 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 then he laughs and he just says, "Well, that's great because that pays that karma off," and he just uh, does his hand and go, "Yeah, I'm really happy." Well, that pays that karma off, and you, you have a giggle, and you go, "That's a relief. I don't have that. That's off my soul now. I've paid that debt off." So that's the positive way. Every time something horrible happens, you go, oh, "Yep." really happy i paid that one off you know so so it is very very helpful and actually you know i've listened to so many of hawkins lectures everything 
is probably something I've done to others in the past. So I don't have to know. I don't have to spend 300 quid on a hypnotherapist to show me that I used to steal from other people. But you can do if that's going to be helpful to you. It's kind of obvious I've done that to others. Um, I've, I've given people a hard time, heckled them, been horrible to them. Of course I have. Uh, I mean, I can pay a hypnotherapist. Here's 300 quid, do past life regression. So I can I can't, I can't be bothered to pay anyone loads of money to do a hypnotic regression because I can more or less guess it quite easily um, by listening. I mean, Hawkins gave the example. What did he give? Yes. So he was having a hernia operation and had horrific pain. And he had a flashback to his past lifetime when he skewered someone in the groin. So, I mean, he could spend a few hundred quid and, and go into to see a hypnotherapist and have that flashback. But uh, I mean, because he's he's more or less at the enlightenment, it happens without the three hundred pound in the therapy session. So that's useful if you get to advanced levels, because your attachment to your ego is so faint now that you can have automatic recall of past lifetimes without paying a hypnotherapist. You need a hypnotherapist because you're so stuck in your ego. You need to help someone to get you less stuck in your ego, so you can remember your past lives. That's why most people need a hypnotherapist. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm putting my beliefs in the, I, mean, I just can't be bothered to pay a hypnotherapist. But um, I think it is useful. I think it is useful. I mean, find a good past life hypnoth uh, regression. I've told you, even in this recording, how to make your own recording. I mean, I, rather than if I really wanted to, I'd make my own recording and hypnotize myself and take myself. I'm sure you can get, you know, it's, it's just quite simple. You just get a Google past life hypnotherapy script and just read it into a recorder and then play it back. And, uh, uh, you know, or just buy a recording for £10 of a past life regression recording and play it back and go into your past life. I mean, if you want to spend a few hundred quid, I mean, what whatever makes you happy. Uh, <laughs> whatever makes you happy. I think it is, um, if you're, I mean, of course, I'm, make, I'm joking. If you're really stuck, you know, you feel like killing yourself with guilt or something. Uh, and uh, you really want to see a past lifetime. And, you know, I think probably seeing a, a past life hypnotherapist is probably a good idea just to have a good expert lead you into a past life and for you to actually see what's happened. I must say that the, um, the, I think they only run if you have permission. So even a good one might not be able to take you to see. It would depend on whether you actually have karmic permission to see your past life. And that's always the case with with uh, kinesiology. And I'm sure with uh, hypnotherapy, that even if you want to, you might not be allowed for it to be revealed through kinesiological research or hypnotherapy. But I think that should not be the case in most instances. Um, otherwise... Um, yeah, I think that's all I can say on um, on that. Uh, let's press stop. Where's the stop button? Yeah.